everyone, welcome to Cosmic Kids. I'm Jamie and this is your place for yoga, stories and fun. It's easy, just copy the moves I do and enjoy the adventure. Now we always begin in the same way and that's by sitting on our bottoms with our legs crossed, bringing our hands together at our hearts and saying our secret yoga code word which is Namaste. Ready? After three. One, two, three. Namaste. There! Now we're ready to begin and today we're off to meet Mike the monkey. But no ordinary monkey, oh no. Mike is a space monkey, an astro chimp. So we're going in a rocket to space. Let's go and meet him. We take the train, standing up, putting our arms down by our sides. We pull the horn. Hoo hoo! Clickety clack, clickety clack. Here we go around the track. Faster and faster and faster we go until we're going very slow. Pull the horn. Hoo hoo! We're here! And Mike does a big monkey jump to welcome us. Crouching down after three. One, two, three. <laughs> he opens his monkey arms wide and gives us a big cuddle. Ooh! He leads us down through the secret tunnel. Hands down, feet down, into the secret bunker. We sit on our bottoms and put our legs out long in front of us. There are two telephones, a red one and a blue one. The red one rings. Ring, 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 ring. Mike answers. Hello. The evil alien mudfish, Snarge, has taken your friends prisoner on the space station. You must rescue them at once. Hurry. Wow, that's a bit scary. Then the blue one rings. Ring, 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 ring. Mike answers again. Hello. Your friend Mutnik, the astro dog, is there already. He will help you. Bye bye. Bye. Oh, well, Mike wastes no time at all. He gets into his rocket. Standing up, jump your feet wide, bring your hands above your head and point to the sky. He closes his rocket down, jump your feet together, bend forward and sits down in his capsule. He reaches forward and twiddles all of his knobs. Twiddle, 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 twiddle. Ready for takeoff. Bend your knees, feet flat, hands behind your bottom, and count down from five, lifting your hips. Ready? Five, four, three, two, one. Blast off! Mike rumbles and jumbles, rumbling and jumbling rumbling and jumbling with the power as he goes up into orbit. Then silence as he coasts. Lying down, put your arms down flat and lift your legs up to the sky. He controls the rocket using his pedals. Hands behind your head and pedal your rocket slow and fast. And slow and fast. Time to land. Coming into his landing position, Mike tucks himself up into a little monkey ball. Shoo. He's here. He comes onto his tummy and he peers out of his little rocket window. He's going to get out. Take your feet under, lift your bottom and walk your feet towards your hands. Then open up your rocket and say, hello space. Hello, space! He wiggles into his space suit. Wiggle, 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 wiggle. Then he takes one small step for monkeys and looks over one side. One giant step for monkey kind and looks over the other side. All of a sudden, a door opens and out comes Mutnik, the Russian astro dog. Hands down, feet down, lift up your bottoms and let's have a Mutnik woof. Woof, 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 woof. How exciting. Mike is so pleased Mutnik's here to help him. They look through their cosminoculars, joining your thumbs and fingers together. Have a look through. <gasps> There's Snarge in his mud bowl. Coming onto your tummy, flick your feet towards your bottom, take hold of your ankles and kick up like a bowl. 
Mutnik donkey kicks two hoverboards free. Hands down, lift your bottom up and donkey kick your feet. The hoverboards are a bit like skateboards, only without the wheels. They put one foot forward, one foot back and cartwheel their hands back and go whoosh. They go round a corner and jump the other way. Whoosh and come to a stop Whoop. right outside Snarge's mud bowl. They're a bit nervous, so they take a deep breath. Crisscross your fingers underneath your chin. Big breath in, big breath out. Then they take a big squelchy step into the mud. Squelch! And another big squelchy step. Squelch! Snarge, the evil alien mudfish, hears them. He says, Good evening, Mr. Mike and Mr. Mutnick. Come to save your friends. <laughs> oh dear, trapped in a cage is Gladys the spider. Bend your knees. Ticker, 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 ticker your hands round to the outside. And Toby the turtle, sitting on your bottom, take your legs out wide, arms inside and under they go. Both Gladys and Toby look absolutely petrified and Mike can't bear to see them looking so scared. He stands up tall and brave and says, Please, Snarge, see how they fear you. You must let them go. Snarge jumps wide and says, I don't care what they feel or what you feel. I only care about me and my feelings. But all of a sudden, the whole place is hit by a cosmic storm. Millions of mini meteors start rattling against the sides of the station and the whole place begins to spin around in a circle. They haven't got long, they've got to get out. Snarge has rolled over onto his back and is holding onto his funny feet, crying for help. Help! He looks like a great big baby. The cages pop open and out come Gladys and Toby, scuttling away. Oh, oh, oh. All of a sudden, Mike stops. Hang on! We can't leave Snarge behind. He's truly terrified. We must forgive him. I'm going to go back and save him. And he runs in slow motion back to save Snarge. Snarge is in a puddle on the floor. <laughs> but when he looks up and he sees Mike, his eyes fill with sorrow and hope. Oh, Mike, please take me with you. I'm sorry, I'll stop being an evil alien mudfish. Mike knows that Snarge is being, being real, so he saves him. Standing up, turn yourself around and crisscross your fingers behind your back. He lifts up the evil alien mudfish onto his very strong back and he clumps through the mud. Clump, 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 all the way back to the escape pod. They all huddle together in a little scary huddle as they zoom back to the space base. When they arrive, Mike is greeted with a huge cheer. Yay! Everyone is delighted. He saved Gladys and Toby. Mike is so ready for a rest. He takes himself to his favourite spot in the whole space base. A gorgeous comfy couch where he lays himself down, puts his arms down, puts his head back and just stops for a moment, taking some peace and quiet. Oh, what a mission. He's so pleased he was there to help. And how he learnt to forgive someone who was clearly so bad, so pained, but needed a bit of friendship. Sometimes we have to think what other people are feeling. We can't just think about what our own feelings are. And it's nice just to breathe and have some peace, some calm time. Now, keeping all that peace inside, 
slowly start to wiggle your fingers and wiggle your toes. Bring your knees up to your chest and give them a little cuddle. Roll over onto your side and slowly come up to sitting with your legs crossed and your hands together at your heart, just the way we started. And we'll finish saying our secret magic yoga code word, Namaste. Ready? One, two, three. Namaste. Well done, everyone. Thanks for coming to space and meeting Mike. You were great. Come back soon for another Cosmic Kids adventure. Bye-bye.